Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare an ancient Roman sausage made with meat and spelt. We start with the ingredients. We need pork tenderloin, spelt, sausage casing, garum, pine nuts and black pepper. First we boil the spelt in abundant water for about 45 minutes. We use 100 grams of spelt and 450 grams of pork tenderloin, but the recipe doesn't specify the quantities. We suggest adjusting them to your taste. With this filling we stuffed about 1 meter of pork casing. Meanwhile we grind in the mortar the black pepper and pine nuts. We selected this recipe from the Reco Quinaria, the widest source of ancient Roman cuisine, conventionally attributed to Apicius. There are a few recipes of sausages and meatballs in this source that we prepared in the past months. You find the links in the description below. Differently from other recipes, for example Lucanica sausage, here the author specifies that we have to grind the pepper and pine nuts, but in other occasions there are put all in the sausage. The quantity is up to your taste. Now we mince and pound the pork tenderloin. In the Edict of Prices issued in 301 by Emperor Diocletianus, we find that the Lucanica sausages sold at the market were made with pork or beef. The author of this recipe writes nothing about the kind of meat, just that it has to be lean. Choose the cut and the meat you prefer. This sausage is called farcimen. Farcimina is the plural form. It comes from the verb farcio, which means to stuff. Lucanica sausage, as described in this cookbook, is smoked before being cooked. In this case, instead, the sausage is cooked still fresh. Despite the absence of fats, this sausage is incredibly tasty, in part for the presence of the spelt that blends in an extraordinary way with the meat. You can add more or less pine nuts and pepper according to your taste. When the spelt is cooked through and cooled down, we pound it. Marshall and Horace in their poems mention sausages as a kind of food commonly eaten in taverns and diners, the Thermopolia. Ancient Romans ate frequently in these places. To make an example, just in the city of Pompeii there have been found 89 Thermopolia, and this fact shows how much they were common in the antiquity. We find in the sources that meatballs and sausages were commonly paired with pools and polenta. You find the links to the recipes in the description below. We mix all the ingredients adding garum. We cooked the spat without salt, so we need a good amount of garum. Garum was a fish sauce very popular in the ancient Mediterranean countries. From the few recipes survived, we find out that the most simple recipes were identical to the methods used still today by Southeast Asian populations to produce their traditional fish sauces. If you don't find a garum, you can use one of these sauces to substitute it. Otherwise, we suggest adding salt to the mixture.
We filled the sausage casing after steeping it in cold water for a few hours. We are using pork casing, but you can also use mutton casing if you want thinner sausages. The author doesn't tell us which casing to use. Now we boil the sausages. The cooking time changes depending on the meat you chose. If you use a tender cut like tenderloin, you don't need more than 5 minutes. In this cookbook the author recommends cooking two times the sausages, the first boiling them, the second roasting them. In this way they will remain tender. Meanwhile we prepare the mustard. We need mustard seeds, white wine vinegar, honey and olive oil. First we grind in the mortar the mustard seeds. We chose this recipe from Palladius Agricultural Book, a simple version of sweet mustard that pairs perfectly with this sausage. We prepared in the past also another kind of mustard described by Columella. You find the link to the video in the description below. Then we add a bit of honey, white wine vinegar and olive oil. We used white mustard seeds and extra virgin olive oil, considered the better quality of olive oil and prepared in a similar way as today. We find plenty of information about olive oil in Asher Roman Agronomy Treatises, in particular Columella, Cato and Palladius. After boiling the sausages, we cook them on a slightly old griddle for a couple of minutes, adding a pinch of salt. We serve the farcimina with the mustard. The author specifies that we have to serve them all or sliced in a plate. This delicious and unusual sausage is a great example of an ancient food suitable for both a rich convivium and a meal consumed quickly in an ancient Roman tavern. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors or you're just looking for unusual and delicious recipes, please subscribe our channel.